In the world of professional wrestling, few figures are as universally recognized and celebrated as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Known for his electrifying charisma, larger-than-life persona, and catchphrases that have become part of popular culture, The Rock's impact on WWE is undeniable. However, like any major public figure, he has faced his share of criticism from fans. Brian Gewertz, former WWE head writer and current senior vice president of development at Seven Bucks Productions, recently shed light on how The Rock handled criticism from WWE fans. Gewertz, who worked closely with The Rock during his wrestling career, provided unique insights into Johnson's approach to fan feedback. According to Gewertz, The Rock has always maintained a remarkable level of professionalism and perspective when dealing with criticism. Dwayne never took it personally, Gewertz remarked. He understood that the passionate WWE fanbase has high expectations, and their vocal reactions are part of what makes wrestling such a dynamic and interactive form of entertainment. One key aspect Gewertz highlighted was The Rock's ability to differentiate between constructive criticism and mere negativity. He always listened to the fans, Gewertz said. But he knew how to filter out the noise and focus on feedback that could actually help him improve his performance. He saw criticism as a tool for growth rather than a personal attack. This mindset, Gewertz explained, was crucial during some of the more controversial periods of The Rock's career. For instance, during his initial run as the blue-chip babyface Rocky Maivia, the character was met with chants of, die, Rocky, die, from fans who found the gimmick too forced and unrelatable. Instead of being discouraged, The Rock used this feedback to fuel his transformation into the brash, trash-talking heel that would eventually become one of the most beloved personas in wrestling history. Gewertz also pointed out that The Rock's background in sports and entertainment helped him develop a thick skin. Having played football at the University of Miami and grown up in a wrestling family, Dwayne was no stranger to criticism and high-pressure situations, he explained. He was conditioned to handle it with grace and use it as motivation to prove doubters wrong. Another significant factor in The Rock's handling of criticism, according to Gewertz, was his unwavering confidence and belief in his abilities. Dwayne always had a clear vision of who he wanted to be and what he wanted to achieve, Gewertz said. This confidence allowed him to stay true to himself, even when faced with harsh criticism. He trusted the process and believed that his hard work and dedication would eventually win over the fans. Gortz also shared anecdotes about The Rock's interactions with fans outside the ring. Dwayne has always been incredibly approachable and appreciative of his fans, he noted. He never shied away from engaging with them, whether they were singing his praises or expressing their dissatisfaction. He valued their opinions and respected their passion for the business. In conclusion, Brian Gortz's reflections on The Rock's reaction to criticism from WWE fans offer a valuable lesson in resilience and perspective. The Rock's ability to embrace criticism, learn from it, and remain true to his vision has been a cornerstone of his success in wrestling and beyond. His journey from a polarizing rookie to a global superstar serves as an inspiring testament to the power of perseverance and the positive potential of fan feedback.